Okay, so let's run through the SEO website audit report. This report's going to help you know where you stand with SEO because it can feel really daunting at times. It's going to very simply explain the improvements you can make to your website and therefore you'll learn how to boost your website traffic and help grow your business. So the report starts off with an intro to explain how we've generated the report. Then it quickly moves on to an overview of your general website health score. So in this example data set, we've got a health score of 72, meaning we've got 72% of healthy pages on the website. These are pages that don't have any reported issues. Therefore, we know we have 28% of pages that do. We show you this by giving you a count of your pages that are healthy and a count of your pages that have SEO issues. We then break down the pages with issues into three separate categories. The categories are errors, warnings and notices. And this report concentrates on the errors and warnings only. This is because these are the two categories where you're really going to get big wins to help you improve your overall SEO score and therefore drive more traffic to your website. On the second page, you'll get some simple instructions on how to use the report. What's worth noting here is that there are two parts to the report. There's the report file, which is the PDF we're looking at now, and then there's the data files. There's an explanation here of what the data files are for, but in summary, they're the files that give you all the valuable information in terms of which web pages you need to apply the fixes to that you're going to learn about in this report. The report is split into two categories, as mentioned a few moments ago. There's information about the website errors, and there's also information about the website warnings. I'm going to concentrate on the errors for the purposes of this demo. So, looking at the table of issues found, you'll notice that there's five columns. There's an errors column, that's the error title, the number of pages that are impacted by this error, the issue details column, this is an explanation of why Google finds this particular error really important to fix. And then, a very important part of the report is the how to fix column. This gives you the tip of what you need to do to actually fix this error. Also really important is the name of the supporting data file. Now this file will list all the web pages where this error occurs. So now you can identify the affected pages and apply the fix to this error. Okay, so that's all. I hope you found this explanation useful and I'm sure you'll agree that the report will help you on your way to boost your website traffic and land more sales from these website visitors.